In a normal year, Minithon is an all-night dance marathon, uh, kind of a celebration of our fundraising efforts that we that we go through throughout the year. Before COVID hit, Minithon was just the best night of the year. It was something to look forward to, getting all of your friends together, the whole high school, just having a great night for the kids. Uh, we had over 700 kids in the in the gym. We had the community come out and celebrate with us. We raised $192,000, and then COVID hit. We never really considered dropping the event. I think that it's too ingrained in the community of the school, in the culture of the school. I think that uh, it's too important. The cause itself is too important. All the money we raise for Minithon goes to medication, treatments, hospital beds for these children. And if we really come together, we can make a huge impact on these kids' lives. We're actually fighting for kids that have cancer, and they happen to have cancer during a pandemic. So the idea was not that we would stop. The idea was how would we change and how would we adapt to the current environment. Obviously, given the COVID terms, this year is a lot harder than past years, but we are 100% committed into making this the best event possible. COVID or no COVID, we're going to make it happen. The students do everything from advertising to ordering supplies to signing sponsorships. But most importantly, the students are the ones that raise the money that help these kids. Right now we're fundraising. That means calling companies and selling sponsorship packages. Uh, working the phones, you're gonna get some no's, uh, unanswered calls, but that's kind of part of it. And it's our job to just keep pushing and you never know the next company could be a yes. So that's kind of the positive mindset that we look at it as. We also partner with local businesses to set up benefit nights, such as Five Guys, Duck Donuts, and Blaze. We bring kids in the door and a portion of the sales go directly to Minithon. So this year, we are planning a four-hour virtual event. We're trying to make sure that we have four hours of entertaining and exciting content that the community can participate in, that students can participate in, and most importantly, where we can continue to raise money and help these kids. In the end, I couldn't be more proud of this group. You know, they come in, they get to work every single day, and they do it in the name of helping and giving back. And I think that's sort of the core of what we do. And as an educator, you want to see these kids not only learning, of course, but understanding that they are here to help others. And when we can help, we should help. And they do that every single day. And I couldn't be more proud.